Meaningless, meaningless, says the teacher. Utterly meaningless. Everything is meaningless. What do people gain from all of their labor at which they toil under the sun? Generations come and generations go, but the earth remains forever. Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube series, God Talk. In these videos, I will be talking about the God of the Bible. Please like, subscribe, share, and leave any comments or questions down below, especially if you want to help me to get this message out to more people. Today's lesson really ministered to me as I was making uh, notes for this video, and I hope it may do the same for you too. So the book of Ecclesiastes is a very tough book to read, and at times it seems very gloomy and dim. The author of the book is widely believed to be King Solomon, and it's usually just attributed to him. King Solomon was the wisest man to ever live on the earth aside from Jesus. King Solomon spent his days in attempts to gain more wisdom and observe the truths that he witnessed under the sun. The book of Ecclesiastes is an assessment of the human existence and the experience that begins without acknowledgement of the one who gives us purpose. The author examines the limits of human wisdom and the limits of even the fear of the Lord. He recognizes the boundaries and the inescapable disillusionment that mankind falls under. He notes that by all of our getting, we really don't get very far at all. There is nothing of any great achievement that can be actually attributed to man, and if there is, it will not be remembered. As Christians, we understand that all great achievements are attributed to the Lord, so the book of Ecclesiastes takes us into a brief explanation that mankind cannot see the future nor change it. In a sense, he is saying we could all die tomorrow and there is nothing that we could do to stop it and everything that we've ever done could turn out to be for naught. So what is the point? He turns us over to the point of our lives, which is that we should accept the human state as it is shaped by God's whims and enjoy the life that we have been given as full as we can. Fear God and keep his commandments, beginning already in your youth before the fleeting days of life's enjoyments are gone, and the days of trouble come when the infirmities of advanced age vex you and hinder you from tasting, seeing, and feeling the good things of life. This life can so easily begin to feel and look hopeless and meaningless if we forget that we are here for God's purposes, and we are here for His desires. Our existence wasn't meant for our own gain, and our gain was never guaranteed to us in any way. We can find our most peaceful existence in submitting to God's authority and not questioning life too much deeper than that. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I'm so glad that you are searching for the love of God, and I am praying that the Lord will help you to overcome each test and trial that you have to endure in this life. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and if you have anything good to say, you can comment down below.